Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Sonic Adventure 2. I decided to get this video up and running today. I said it was going to be a couple days till I got another video up, but I decided to do this before I head to work, so... You're welcome if you're watching. <laughs> Alright, um... Now that we, in the previous episode, we found the entrance to uh, Eggman's secret pyramid base. And, uh, yeah, we went through a Tales level to find the entrance, and we did. Now we're finally playing as Sonic again. After two or three Tails levels and a Knuckles level, we're finally back as Sonic the Hedgehog. Um, in this level, we'll be getting a power-up for Sonic that is actually required to get past the game. It's, uh, yeah, you'll see it when we get there. Yeah, we're pretty close to it. This level's pretty fast. This video's gonna be probably on, like, five minutes at the most. So... I honestly really like this level, the music's really cool, but it doesn't feel like... Oh, oh, here it is. Bounce Bracelet. While you're jumping, just keep hitting B repeatedly and you'll be bouncing up and you'll jump higher. And I will demonstrate. Cool. And you're dead. And you're dead. Alright, let's get up here. See? Just keep hitting B and the more you press it, you go even higher. And you're dead. Okay, um... Guys, I just wanted to know. Um... This this game has a lot of, a lot of features to it that make it really good and make it famous. A lot of people know it because of it. And not it's just you know the levels, the action stages, and the story is really good. But something other than that is uh, the Chow Garden. This this game I don't know if anyone else feels this way, but the Chow Garden in Sonic Adventure 2 was kind of something that I I, I always did for fun. And I wanted to know if you guys wanted me to do that after I finished the main story. Um, just let, just leave a comment below, let me know if you want me to or not. That's all, you know, you guys want me to. If not, I'll just play the, the heroes section of the game, play the, play the dark, then um, do the final um, story, and that's all I'll do. Alright, right now I'm just taking this key all the way over here, hit the switch, blah blah blah, just keep running. And just keep um, going up, pretty much. It's not really that hard. Um, I haven't really mentioned this in the um, in the beginning, but after you defeat an enemy, you get these rods, these colored rods. And uh, if you go to the Chow Garden, that will upgrade your Chow's stats and all that. If you get animals and you feed them to your Chow, I know that's kind of cr animal cruelty there, but if you feed it to your Chow, He'll transform. I really haven't even mentioned that. So, uh, if you guys haven't checked out the Chow Garden and you're watching this, um, go do that. It's pretty fun. Alright, um... Gotta get through that. Woohoo! Oh my god, I almost didn't make it. Alright, um... Yeah, this level's pretty short. It's not really one of Sonic's longest levels, but... Um, it's pretty straightforward. It's not that hard at all. Just do keep doing what Sonic does: jump, attack, run, and jump, and attack, and run. That's all you gotta do. And then we, then we got a life. Um, something I gotta mention: as we go on through Sonic's levels, the more and more throughout this game, you're gonna have a lot more grinding involved. And uh, I think there's only two more levels in the just Sonic's action stages. So, um, there should be a lot of grinding in those. I know there's a lot of grinding in one, not to spoil anything. Well, um, this is the end of the episode. Thank you guys for watching, um, episode 7. Episode 8 will be up soon. Um, have a great Sunday, and I'll talk to you guys later in the week. Peace. Just made it. We're heading toward the center of the- That egghead sure loves mechanical things, doesn't he? I'll bet he has one or two spaceships lying around here somewhere. The door is locked. We need a key to get in there. No problem. We can find it. Right, Knuckles? What? Why do I have to find the key? We're counting on you, buddy. The world's greatest treasure hunter.